Every year, the lineups get longer as the Istanbul Film Festival lifts the curtain on a wider variety of international movies, enticing an eager audience. The festival is known as a platform for people to discover some of the best in world cinema, and never in particularly Chinese films been more in the spotlight. That's a very good um, opportunity for them to discover um, films from, from Asia. For example, we showed uh, Black Cold Teen Ice, which recently won in February the Golden Bear at Berlin Film Festival, and it was um, sold out immediately the very first day of the festival. And those who were lucky enough to grab tickets were glad they had. We really liked it. It was nice. We chose to watch these from different better understand them. It was a nice movie. My friend surprised me with it, but it was very nice. The scenario was very nice. Very successful film. The festival has helped attract a wider audience to films from India, Japan, Korea, and even Central Asia. The Istanbul Festival is certainly no stranger to Chinese films. It showcased many of them over the years, including the 2002 Jet Li hit The Hero, as well as the most expensive Chinese film ever made, the wuxia classic The Promise. Back in 2012, the Chinese film A Simple Life by award-winning Hong Kong director Anne Hui received good reviews. Of course, that's the ultimate aim, to have a sort of a, a, a film festival with a long history, and it's a festival uh, for filmmakers and film buffs, more than uh, for any kind of uh, trade and commerce. Azize Tan says it's not just a good story or cinematography that attracts the Turkish audience to Chinese films, but it's also cultural. The way we live, the way the, we treat our elderly, we have this uh, common language, common culture, uh, common values that we share, and we saw that, we see that uh, in the films as well, and that's very important and interesting for the Turkish audience. The curtain has drawn on another year of the Istanbul Film Festival, where Chinese films again gained a further following, as cinema culture continues to travel the ancient Silk Road. Natalie Carney for CCTV in Istanbul, Turkey.